Because you clicked on this video, your drill beats are going to be 10 times better if you're using Ableton. So just go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back now. You found the tutorial you were looking for. What's going on, everybody? I'm Fearless, and today we're going over all of the 808 glide steps in Ableton so that you can make your beats sound like Gotti from Pop Smoke or any of those crazy drill songs that you're trying to make. I'm super excited to jump in this one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because you're going to want to get all this sauce that we're giving out. And uh, let's jump right into it. We're going to be going over absolutely everything. So sit tight and this is going to ramp up really quick. The first thing I want to go over is sometimes you can use two different 808s depending on the mood for your beat. So in this beat, for instance, I have one 808 that's kind of playing the bass note that's hitting every bar. And then I'm using a completely different 808 that's doing the slide notes and it's a different sounding 808. So here's the second one. Okay, so you can see this 808 that's doing the slides has a completely different sound. So that's something you might want to consider in your beats. Now, when you're going to make your glides in Ableton, you're going to want to click into your controls here and you're going to want to turn glide on. And you can set the glide time pretty low. I'm just going to leave it where it is when you turn on glides at 50 milliseconds because most of the glides that we're going to be doing are very quick and very fast. That's what sounds good in drill beats. So that's perfectly fine. And you can always go and change that later. And there's tons of different glides that you can do. So let's start with the basics. So these are the longer glides and they're the most basic kinds. You start on one note and you either glide up or down after a certain length of time. And the note that you glide up from, you want to start after the other note, obviously. But you're going to want to drag this note out as long as it's gliding up. Otherwise, if this bottom note goes past it, it's going to slide up. And then after this duration, it's going to slide back down. So that's how you want to think about this. Otherwise, if we drag it out, it goes back down. And you can do this faster or slower. Let's do it right here instead. Or even one. We can pull this back a little bit more if we wanted to. Let's look at some faster glides. These glides are almost the same as the last one, but they're a lot faster. As you can see, um, they're gliding in a way shorter amount of time and they're one after another and it can make a really cool sound, especially if you go up the notes or like this one, we're descending on the notes. Take a listen. So it makes a really cool sound. And if you go upward, it's going to be a little bit different. And if you're wondering what's going on afterwards, I just put a bunch of fast notes right after this. And it almost sounds like, I don't know, a Game Boy or something crazy like that. So if you go really fast with the 808 glides, and we're up to uh, the seventh octave here, D7. These ones are on C7, okay? So if we're going up to C7, you can get some Game Boy noises, some crazy stuff like that as well. Now, since we're all the way up to C4 here, going up to C6 or B6, it's going to sound different than if we were to put this down an octave. That almost starts to sound like the glides that you hear in Gotti with Travis Scott and Pop Smoke, RIP to the great. But if we take that up an octave, you can see it completely transforms. And if we go up another octave, it starts to become really crazy. So the octaves that you use make a huge difference with this. Now on the inverse of this, you could just take all these notes and go down as well. So we're gliding downward. In fact, let's bring everything up after doing that. And you can experiment with that and maybe come up with something cool. But as you can see on the flip, on the first one we did, it sounded a lot better. So something to keep in mind. Let me actually show you what it would sound like if we were doing some triplets. And this is the next glide we're going to take a look at in just a second. But first, let's hear what it sounds like. So obviously triplets have their place, but everything we've heard up to this point hasn't been a triplet except for this. So you don't always have to do triplets because when you're doing 808 rolls, snare rolls, hi-hat rolls, a lot of times you go straight to triplets. With this, you can kind of use both and they have their part. With this glide, this is more of an immediate glide. And what you're doing is you're laying two notes almost directly on top of each other. But you may notice that this note is off by just a hair. In fact, if we were to take these notes, let's put them all on grid now. Oh, let's bring this one over. You're not going to notice any good glide sound. Right? It does an initial glide, but it just sounds weird past that. 
But the sound we're going after, let's go back really quick, is this. We want each one to do its glide. So yeah, if we pull it back just a smidge, let's hear this. Also, if we pull this back a little bit more, it's probably not gonna make too big of a difference. Since we have that short glide time, it's not really gonna make a big difference until you start pulling it back, you know, half a chunk here or a little bit more than that. Let's see how this sounds. We start getting back to the other glides that we had looked at previously. There's a couple weird things with these glides though. First off, it doesn't really sound different if we go down an octave with the bass notes, for instance. I mean, we could even go down again. That's the weird thing about these glides. It's pretty much only gliding with these notes on top. Those are the only ones that matter. And the other caveat with these as well, let's go back up, is if you want the velocities to play any role, you gotta turn both of these velocities down, not just one or the other. So if we highlight both of them and turn them both down, the velocity will be affected. Let's take a listen to this one too. It's down, this is pretty much down another octave from the other one. And here are some faster paced glide notes, like the ones we just took a look at. Twice as fast. The other thing you'll see people doing a lot of times is using the left and right signal. In FL Studio, it's really easy to do that on the board. But in Ableton, you actually have to go into your envelopes here. And what we can do is go to our mixer, track panning, and then we can do each note individually by drawing it in like this. One way that you can also do it is if you go in here to the random panning, you can turn this on. It's just going to be randomized at will, so not as much control, but you can obviously play with that still. I love this plugin. This is a free one, and it's called Pancake 2, and it just does a really nice job at automating your track. And this is really nice on your hi-hats as well, but let's take a quick listen. And we might want to make it act a little bit faster because right now it's kind of going slow. So maybe we'll go crazy with it. Let's go to fourth notes. Yeah, that sounds cool. So that sounds really cool. Now we could turn down the mix a little bit so it's not going as far to the right and as far to the left. Now the next thing we got to take a look at is grime. And what grime is, is there's special 808s for drill that have a filtered crazy effect on them. Um, and they can sound kind of crazy. I went ahead and set one up really quick and let's take a listen. And usually the patterns are pretty simple. Like it'll go from one note up to another one, something like you see here. It might do a little bit of a longer note in some instances. What you may also notice is I have a delay effect going on it. So what I did is I took H delay. You could also take Ableton's delay plugin and I'm doing a fourth delay here with a little bit of feedback. I turn this down and the dry wet is up to 100%. And what I did is I put that in a group here so that I have the original signal playing right there by itself and the delay is on its own channel. Therefore, I can turn down the volume quite a bit here to negative 14 and it's always playing, but it's way quieter and it's a better way to control it in general. All right, guys, that's it. I wanted this to be just a masterclass on how to do amazing 808 glides and slides in drill beats. So I hope that was helpful. Leave any questions you got in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we upload amazing tutorials like this all the time to help you get better in Ableton. And besides that, if you want to watch this video, I actually make a full UK drill beat from scratch. Um, lots of sauce in that one, too. So check that out next. Do it. Do it. Love y'all motherfuckers. Peace.